Hello, call center. Hi. Hi. Well, that's not how we rehearsed it. <laughs> I said a big cheer when I say, we'll try it again. Hello, call center. Hi. That's more like it. What time is it here? It's coming up to 5 a.m. Here in Tallinn, Estonia, if you just joined us, you're watching the World Cleanup and Day Show 2018 coming to you live from Estonia. Now, our volunteers have been working really hard here over the last uh, four hours. What are you working on exactly, my friend? Well, we are calling to all our 150 countries. We are asking how they are doing, are the cleanup started, how many people there are. So who have you spoken to so far? So far, we already have spoken with uh, Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Vanuatu, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Taiwan, Papua New Guinea, Vietnam. Great, and what kind of reaction or response are you getting from them? Well, everybody are really excited. Everybody are excited. And are people turning up? Are they coming out in the numbers? Because that's the big thing. We want to know what kind of numbers we're getting. Yes. <laughs> I know the weather is affecting some things, isn't yes, it? They yeah, they are, especially in Asia yeah. right now. So but as we cover this part of the planet at the moment, and we're going to deal with that in a few minutes over in the crisis centre, mm -hmm. the adverse weather is having an effect and some people, they're postponing their cleanups. Yes, uh, Philippines, for example, postponed all the cleanups because mm -hmm. they are like in the in the centre of, uh, of typhoon. Yeah. Yes, and also um, uh, Vietnam, will get hit probably a little Very bit. Bad. And of course, we hope everyone is safe there and safety yes. is priority, not the cleanup. That can happen on another day. We still do hope they do the cleanup, but to wait until the, the weather's a bit better. I'm looking at all the stuff you've here. What are you surviving on, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Cookie. What is it? Cookie. Is that a cookie? Yeah. Ah, no, okay. Like, like it looks like something like a cookie. What's your name? Heli. Where are you from? Uh, my dad is from Estonia and my mom's from China. Nice, okay. And uh, how have you been finding the night so far? It's been quite okay. <laughs> quite okay. Um, you can read it to that as you want to. And uh, who are you talking to at the moment? I see you're writing down a lot of notes I, there. I, I'm, I'm trying to prepare some better questions so I can talk to the next country. Okay, to get a better understanding of what's happening. Yeah. And get like a better story out of it so the news people can write it better. Oh, very good. Yeah. So you're good with questions and what to ask. Yeah. How, how have my questions been tonight so far? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. She kind of has to say that. Here, look, you get a cookie. Mm. There you go. Well done. Let's check over here. Uh, well done, by the way, guys. Keep up the good work. I'm going to squeeze past here. This is a live environment. Everyone's working. This young lady here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. OK, what is your name? My name's Maria. Where are you from, Maria? I'm from Estonia. Maria, Surprise. yeah, you're absolutely, you sound like you're from the States and England all at the same time. I went to boarding school in England. So ah, whereabouts my... in England? Ascot, I'm very posh. You're very, very posh. la ti da excuse me. <laughs> and what do you do full time? Do you work in the environmental sphere? Uh, no, I'm going to uni next year to study chemistry and physics to fix the world one day. But here I am wow. today. So I'm talking to an astrophysicist and a chemist as well? Hopefully, yes. So what have you been working on? Who are you talking to? Um, I've spoken to New Zealand, who are doing very well. Um, they've got a big number of people showing up, which is great. And now we just talked to New Guinea, and they are having a bit of trouble because they're having their Independence Day tomorrow. So okay. not many people are showing up. So, so that is clashing with Independence Day, yeah. Yes, exactly. So as we go over the world, we'll be finding in different countries these unexpected events, not just the weather, but things like their exactly. own Independence Day. That is the problem when you try and coordinate it all in one singular day. Exactly. Okay, but well, listen, keep up the good work. Cheers. Well done, team. Yay! <laughs> they need more cookies. So we're going to check back in with the volunteers in a little while and as well with the crisis centre, see what's happening. Where are we going next? I believe we are heading over to a VT, is it? I'm just waiting to be told in my ear right now because it's breaking up. Z is waiting for us. Z, where are you and what's going on? Hey guys, so we have to be really quiet right now because we are at the quiet place to close your eyes, okay? So we're gonna get in here and we're going to find out, we're actually gonna see who's sleeping and maybe I'm gonna be really bad and really naughty and not so nice and wake someone up. Let's go. So you can see people are sleeping. Look at them. They're all knocked out. And guess what? It's only four hours in. Why are they sleeping? If we, if we can't be sleeping, they should be awake. Aha! Enzo! Ciao! How, how are you feeling? Happy. <laughs> Happy. 
joyfully tired. <laughs> Ooh, I like that, joyfully tired. Yeah. How many hours have you been sleeping? Uh, one and a half. Still 30 minutes to go, and then I will come upstairs for the next shift because we have to change duties with my uh, team partner, okay. Kadri. Kadri yeah. yeah. So now, have I messed up your routine by waking you up right now? No, huh? don't worry, just don't worry, yeah. Okay. Great, you're a team sport, yes. Now close your eyes and go back to sleep. <laughs> I will. Let's see, let's see who else is up right now. Oh yes, I spot someone there, and she's up. Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm taking a little rest. Oh, doesn't she sound so sleepy? So how many hours have you been sleeping? I haven't slept yet. I just got in here and oh. it's really peaceful and it's almost as good as sleeping, even if you're awake. I can see everyone else is looking at us. Oh, look at her. She's like, uh, she's not happy that we're in here. Let's go find out why she's not happy. How long have you been sleeping? You can't be sleeping if we're still working. <laughs> every time when I came here, every five minutes, every person come and ask a question. You sleep here? What are you doing here? <laughs> come on, guys. It's really important situation. Yeah. So, so we keep messing up your sleeping pattern. I don't know. I am ambassador. Let's do it. World Foundation in Eastern Europe and Central Asia and sleep here. Okay, but is it no. comfortable? It looks really, yes. I like it. It's nice and soft because I'm going to go and sleep as well at some point. And um, I'm glad that it's so nice and soft. You might just think that you're home, right? T-shirts. I have t-shirts and these t-shirts and 10 minutes for my sleep. Okay, so I'm going to let you go back to sleep. We meet with you after 10 minutes. Okay, enjoy your 10 minutes sleep. Okay. I think we've spoken to enough people, right? I think you can let them go back to sleep. Because when it's my time to sleep, I don't want anybody doing this to me. 